we've seen um, almost a movement in women's sport, maybe going back to London 2012. Women's cricket has been improving steadily for a number of years now. What do you think or what do you hope could happen in the game after this? Well, it's getting recognition now, isn't it? And it's getting its, sense, it's, getting its um, proper place, isn't it? People take it serious and give it the respect is that's what I was looking for. I, think, I found that press conference quite humbling, speak, listening to Heather speak, because as, as I said before, They've got the, the, these girls and the female athletes who, who play all the sports have a great sense of duty to the game, to, to, to inspire, to, to be role models, which as, you know, as an ex-cricketer in the men's world, we didn't have that same, same duty or same expectation on us because there was male role models all over the place, you know, male-dominated sport, isn't it? And these girls show great values and great morals, and it's always quite humbling when you hear them speak, you know, Heather just racking off the names of former, former greats and former occasions when, we, when we've won things. How do you look forward? How do you top this? I mean, there's an Ashes series coming up. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? Look, you've got to enjoy this. That's the, the most important thing. You enjoy it um, for, for everything that it, it's been. It's been a great three weeks for, for cricket, for England. And then you do, you turn your attention to Ashes. It'll come around quickly. You know, the girls get 10 days off. They go to Super League. They'll have 10 days af off after that. And then they'll come back to us to start preparing for the Ashes, which include a test match somewhere. Thanks, Mark. Brilliant. Thank you. Cheers, guys.